Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. Now it will be Thursday when you see this and I'll have been on holiday uh, for oh, four or five days already. But um, yeah, I'm nowhere near ready going on holiday yet, so I'm getting this one done in front. So this is the new um, collaboration kit between Tanya, who is Tatty Treasure on YouTube and Etsy, and Nanine, who is... Um, collage type on YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> got the dog's teeth in, and Etsy. So, um, yeah, the collaboration is, as as has always been over these last few months, um, in, in both shops. So, uh, one set of papers in Tanya's shop, the other set of papers in Nanine. So, um, they're both full kits, they, they mix and match. Now, they've got the similar... I've got the same images on this um, botanical architecture um, kit this time, but Tanya's, I believe, are what's that? Vertical? No, it's horizontal. <laughs> a horizontal um, for a change because she's doing a lot of journals now. And what's my Nanine's somewhere? And Nanine's are oh, that might be Tanya's as well. I don't know. That one's Nanine's are the same pages, but. Um, vertical i <laughs> got there yeah aren't they gorgeous um uh you know for like um folios and lap books and um altered file folders things like that so um it's nice to have both um, they've both got different um ephemera in them as well tanya's done a flip through so um if you don't know her if you don't know tanya's uh, channel there'll be a link to it or the link to tanya and everything that she does um will be in my description and as always, there are lots of ladies um, doing things, using the kit, uh, design team things. Um, and they, theirs will all, their links will also be in my description. So you can you can pop on and see what they're doing. Um, sometimes it's new ladies. Sometimes it's the same ladies as last time. Um, you know, so you might find some new channels there as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm still having absolutely awful internet problems. So um, my phone keeps cutting out and, and you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that it's cut out because the internet's just gone. Um, so I don't want to do two. I'm not doing very long videos um, at the moment till I get that sorted. It seems to be an upstairs problem. But um, it's not so bad downstairs. So that's quite aggravating because that's where my craft room is upstairs. It's obviously something to do with our our server, isn't it? Um, so. What my plan is to do today is because I, I will be coming on every Thursday like I, I usually do when I do a, a collab for Tanya and Nanine. Um, I'll be coming on every Thursday to work with it. And then in the, you know, the weeks following, I will be using it for lots of different other projects. So what I want to do, I'll share with this today to start with. So what I will be doing is a... Um, I think I've told you this before, a five signature journal and I've got my signatures ready. So these are, I think most of these here are uh, Tanya's just because she's got the, um, these are the pages from this, uh, this kit. She's got the vertical, no, <laughs> horizontal pages for the journal. She's also got six envelopes in her kit as well. Like I say, you need to go on to Tanya's if you want to see exactly what's in the kits. Um, so I've got five signatures. I've also got these vintage botanical um, pages. Again, there's a kit in each shop of those as well. I think they came out last month and lots of lovely fussy cut flowers with it. Yeah, so I've got one of um, Tanya's en envelopes. That one needs chopping down a little bit in each signature. And I think I've got two of pages of her horizontal <laughs> i'll know it by the end of the video yeah two pages of each of her horizontal um architecture these these ones um in each signature and i think i've got two of these botanical ones as well plus some of my coffee dyed. I, did, I didn't want to make it too big because i'm having five five signatures some of my coffee dyed i think that's about it yeah in there so that's going to be that's going to be a great fun journal for us to to fill so yeah i think there was um I might be wrong, but I think there's 11 journal pages and then nine pages of ephemera. So there's lots of lovely ephemera in it. Lots of fussy cuts as well. So I've got mine all cut out here, um, or mostly cut out. So lots of these, what are they, sconces? Yes, yeah, sconces, aren't they gorgeous? Love those. And um, lots of tickets and things. Doors, 
and windows because it's architecture, some beautiful ones. They're sconces waiting to be cut out. These that I love, the freezes. Freezes? Yeah, freeze. The freezes. Love them. Love these like chain ones as well, particularly. Um, circles, tickets, stamps. So some of these are from Nanny and some are from Tanya, but like I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've got nine each. Um, there's pockets, um, there are tags, there are all sorts of things. So you need to go on and, and look at the kit. So I'll go on and have a look at Tanya showing the kit. I've also got another signature here, look, made up from the, the bits that I had left over. So that'll be a nice uh, single quick signature uh, to make up and play with. But yeah, that, that five signature one, I know you're all waiting to see me do that. So I'll definitely be doing that after my holidays. Um, oh, get some of those out, look. So these are the, I'll just show you what beautiful pages. I love that one. I've got out on my desk. Like I say, they're in, they're in both shops just a different shape in each shop so the tall ones in Nanine's and the I've forgotten again horizontal ones in Tanya's yeah so I won't spend any more time going through but yeah I've printed loads and loads off that's only a few of them <laughs> but I won't get them all out so this is what I want to um to show you today I'm only going to show you it and embellish it with you today and then if you tell me in the comments that you want to see me make it before we go on to the journal, I'll actually show you how to make this, but um, reasonably simple. So a lot of you'll be able to. I know there's a lot of newbies watching me, so you might want me to run through how I've made it. So I can do that if you just let me know. <coughs> just spotted these out of the corner of my eye. So um, I've been collecting these pictures from my uh, one of my books when Tony said she was doing um, agriculture agriculture <laughs> that's something completely different isn't it architecture and i have stuck them onto um, some of the papers from the kit so these are going to be nice um, when i come for the journal for either making ephemera out of or you know putting in as extras i've also got this drawing in one of my books Oops. it's from i don't know it's signature whoever drew it um from 2011 it was draw drawn Southern Gate, Olverston. It's nice, isn't it? Lovely drawing. So yeah, they might end up in, in the journal as well. So I'll show you this. The only other thing I want to say is, do you remember when we did these? And I said I was going to put some uh, an upcoming kit on it. I'm going to choose one of each of these for the signature and put some of those beautiful fussy cut flowers from the botanicals. They're gorgeous, gorgeous on them. Okay, but no more teasing, let's show you. So it's just something that will go with the journal um, when I eventually sell it. So it's going to be quite a chunky journal. <laughs> so it is just two pieces wrapped up with some lovely sari. And they will just, you know, fit in the back of the journal. So two pieces, whoops. So I was just sat playing, playing with the kit and I was obviously in a mood for, you know, making flippy flappy things. So... So this is just from two envelopes. I think I've got two here actually to show you what I have. I just took two envelopes together like that. As simple as that, nothing more than that. And I haven't cut them open or anything as pockets. I've just used them as the, the cover and literally covered them in papers from the kit. Um, that might be from one of Nanine's other kits actually. But these, these papers are from the kit. Um, to open that way and then you can see one of those beautiful freezes in there. I just put an open envelope or an envelope that opens out so I haven't sealed it in there. So we can, you know, put things in and hide them and tie it up again. They're not staying in there. <laughs> but, you know, it's the sort of thing you could do if you wanted to send it for Happy Mail or, you know, put it in a journal with bits for people to play in the journals with. And this is just a... No tags. <laughs> This is just like a big belly band, so you can put things this way, you can put things that way. You know, if I wanted to put one of these in it, or a couple of these, not those big ones, but a couple of these smaller ones perhaps. You know, you could stack it with all sorts of things, bits of paper, bags, um, that kind of thing. You could also put a little extra little pocket or tuck on the front, couldn't you? Because it's a broad, such a broad belly band. Yeah, really, really easy to make and, and just love it. Um, so I'm just going to decorate it with some bits from the kit. Um, it's quite um, chunky. One, because of that, that um, sari bow. 
I mean, you don't have to have it in a bow. You could fasten it another way. You could have like a policy closure and a little envelope. I could just have pockets in there. And two, because it's got quite thick um, papers across the spine. If I'd have made a spine rather than just fold it over, it wouldn't poke out like that. But the sari holds it together. And that one, this little wallet. This is one where I really had the fun. Really, really enjoyed myself playing with this. Um, so this is just one A4 page from the kit. And I literally... Well, I'll show you the thing first and then I'll, I'll tell you roughly how I made it. And then you can let me know if you need to actually see it. So you can see that it opens up and down. That's a piece of that beautiful chain frieze. Um, opens up and down. Then we've got a door from the, the kit, which opens out. So I had that. Where, where shall I go? I've then got in the top, I have got just a fold out. I think it's just a fold out. Where's that? I don't think I made that a... No, because it's at the top, just a fold out journal spot in there. Then in the middle, we've got a fold out journal spot with a pocket behind it. And in that pocket, I've got another <laughs> pocket with an up tuck for a tag. Yeah, you can see that I haven't decorated them. That's why I'm saying that's what we'll do in this video. So some hidden journaling and some lots of interactive pieces. So we'll go down to the bottom. In the bottom, I have just got a flip up and down like that so um you could put journaling spots on it you could just hide something inside it you could put pretty pictures on it just you know more interactive fun on the left i've made a belly band with circles and i've just cut them out of scrap bits of the paper that i've left just glued them together to make a belly band on this right hand side i've used one of the freezes from the kit um to make a side in fact i think about that that might have been off the, one of the pages one of the papers has got the big freeze across the top of it. The big freeze. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's just a side tuck. Um, and literally, if you know, if you're wanting to have a go at it, you can see I've literally just got the squares, the corners out of the A4, um, made sure those two met, oh, slightly overlapped, and the same with that one. Just made sure those two slightly overlapped, um, and then put the policy. Well, I put the policy closure on for, first. Um, before I put the pockets in because it's hidden behind the pockets but you know it's great fun to um to now play with and um decorate or fill so what do we want in it let's shall we start with this because we've got a completely blank piece of paper here um, and I do want to put some of the cards in it um flowers in it it was interesting to hear um, Tanya say when she did her um flip through of the kit you know that she was um she was inspired by the concrete um of the buildings and um you know the fact that they're disappearing so that they're, they're they're like old ancient architecture that's that's crumbling and that's probably the only one i've got there oh no there look so they're very faded and crumbling and disappearing and lots of concrete um kind of colors not colors images yeah, it was really interesting to hear her say that. Um, and then she, she, you know, her her idea, her thought was that um, flowers would be growing up through the ruins um, as they do, um, you know, and, and changing what the landscape looks like completely. So I think that's why this botanical, um, vintage botanical, goes so well with the vintage architecture. I think they were both kind of in her mind at the same time. So let's see, <laughs> all that to say, Let's let's use some of these. Let's get them out of the box because it's a bit bulky, isn't it? Now there are thousands and thousands of these. I'm, I might be exaggerating, but not very much in the in the two kits. And um, yeah, you can cut round them, fussy cut round them. If you have got lots of time on your hands, you can, um, like I have done, just a bit of crazy cutting, fairly close but not too close. You can do this which is not close at all. That's very easy to do. Just like make a cloud um, around them. You know, that one I've sort of kiss cut. Um, don't think I've got any torn ones. Tanya's torn a lot of hers, I notice, and, and I heard her say, which um, would give it a different look again. So yeah, lots of different looks going on there. Um, and obviously print them in lots of different sizes. So if you print two to a page, although she has included that, or they have included that in the kit, so they've got some pages at the end. I've cut mine up now. Let's see if I can see in here. Ah, yeah. 
where they've where they've put the sheets you know two two to a page and i think four to a page so i haven't got to cutting these out yet look um so when you print it print it normally you'll still get these little tiny um flowers you know if you're not able to do that two to a page you know not everybody can can do that with the computers some are better than others <laughs> and i'm saying nothing because i'm definitely not a whiz but i can do two to a page okay shall we um Right, did I have any scraps out and left? Not very many, I don't think. That, that and that. <laughs> That's all I've got left in scraps. I made things square, so um, nothing very much. Let me just steal a page from these. Well, I don't know about steal. Um, let's have that one out because there's lots of lovely things to pull from there. And I want, yeah, I want one of those concretey looking. This is, yeah, this is what she was saying when she, you know, what I was thinking about when she's on about concrete. Love that one with the chandelier. Okay, that's enough out on your desk, Denise. So we've got bright and we've got colourful and we've got plain. So, so I think I want a flower as the centre point on this one. So let's choose one that's the right size and then we can just put some back in paper. Just too many to choose from. So really, they're all beautiful. So it doesn't really matter to me what goes on. Let's just, um, let's have one that fits. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, what I haven't done is brought the um, labels. Have I even cut the labels out? Quite possibly not. That's something I was going to do and didn't get around to. I know there's some more, there's some more labels in Nanine's kit that I haven't put up yet as well. Some, some bigger ones. What have we got in here? Uh, tickets. And I think these are from Nanine's. Yeah, they're all tickets. No. Oh, are you labels over there? Oh, there, look, there's some. That's it. We got there in the end. This is the thing. There's so much until you've used the kit a little bit. You know, it's remembering, remembering what you've got. Well, it is for me. Yeah, so here's some nice labels. Okay, that's it. Now I'm sorted. So I quite like the back of that card to leave for, you know, that colour for um, journaling. Do the edge before I cover it, but I want the front covered. So, and like I say, I like the idea of the concrete colours so that's got some hints of green in it which I think will be nice against this oh I've got my phone got my phone on show there <laughs> right there we go leave this lovely chandelier here but I'm thinking this nice edge perhaps down at the bottom and the beauty of this is it's all kind of done and layered up and you know splattered and what have you if that's not your thing if you just want to get down and oh i've double-sided it look if you just want to get down and uh and craft this is perfect right yes i've got my new tip i'm sure you've seen it by now i've not had it long <laughs> but uh yeah by the time this video goes up well i've had it a while oh no don't i always don't I always? Yes. <laughs> okay. I need that from there now. So yeah, I'm like I say, I'm I'm thinking about holidays and trying to get in front with things. That's not glued down at the corner. I'll soon solve that. Now I've got my little tip. Um yeah, just not enough hours in the day at the moment, so. So if you're watching yourself here, Denise, on your holidays, I doubt I will be, but you never know. I hope you're relaxing. Just ordered myself a new swimming costume. Not thrilled, <laughs> but uh, we're going to a spa hotel, so I will need a couple. I've only got one now that... that uh, is serviceable, shall we say. Well, I've only got one anyway because I've ditched the rest. Right, that is on the same. Um, I don't mind it, but I'm just wondering if I can get something a bit 
darker. Just on the same colour is what I was going to say because I've printed it on the cream. I mean, that's nice as well, but I quite missed that when I took it off. It kind of follows with that pattern there. Right, let's go with that. Um, shall I put something behind it? I don't want to make it too bulky. I don't want to lose that. No, let's just go with the label like we was going to. I don't want to lose that lovely pattern. It's beautiful. Oops. Um, oh, I'm spoilt for choice. And that's got the music on it and it's backing onto that music, so I quite like that. Um, I'm going to ink it. I've left a lot on around it. I don't know if I intended cutting it off or not, but I'm not going to. Yep, yeah, I like that. Oh, put the label down before the flower. Is that the right way up? I think so. Gosh, my eyes. Um, I don't know if I want to. Just ever so lightly. I couldn't, I couldn't decide. I'm kind of doing it yet not. <laughs> Just a touch here and there, I think. We've had um, breezes, wind in here for a day or two now here in the UK. It's it's hot and very hot and sunny, but gosh, that wind. It's blowing. I mean, it's quite refreshing when you're out in it, but, you know, inside it's, it's it howls around the corner of the house and it's, uh, yeah, it's quite noisy. Yeah, the trees are bending, really bending. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Right, what, what is it going into? It's going into there. Oh, that's nice because the flower's still, well, just about on show. Um, so do we want that to, for writing on or do we want it to reveal another another flower. I'm just thinking about um, a window. Would a window on it be nice? Um, yeah, they're probably flashing in your face. Sorry. I should have. Well, I couldn't get them all out. There's so, there's so many pieces. I had to have a way to, you know, sort of corral them. Yes, I like a window. So how about a window and a, a flower growing up, which was kind of Tanya's, or as I understood her um, vision? Yeah, vision. Sorry about that. So it'll have to be a fairly small one and I haven't got one, so... Ooh. Oh no. I want something a little bit... I don't want a huge leaf on it because it would look silly next to the window, so... They're going to they're gonna look like trees. Oh, they're tiny. Look how tiny they are. Right, let's, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I think I'm going to sort of... This cut. Which one do we like? I'm liking this very end one here. It's very... I'm just going to... Sorry if that's making your eyes go funny. Just wiggle the page about backwards and forwards as I'm cutting. And it just gives you a, you know, a not, not a sharp cut edge. A little bit... Um, what's the word? Oops. Not beveled. Won't come to me, the word won't come to me. Deckled? Deckled? Yeah, deckled. <laughs> deckled edged, isn't it? Yeah. So. Not straight, basically. Oh, that'll, you know, they, they, when you first see them, you think, oh my God, <laughs> that's some fussy cutting. But actually, they're not that bad. If you've got a nice pair of scissors, and of course, I enjoy fussy cutting anyway. Yeah, I'm going to um, change the colour of the background with my pa ink pad. Ink pad? <laughs> with my ink. I suppose I'm going to use my pad. But just darken it up a little bit. Don't want it too dark, but it's it's the same colour as the window now. I, of course, you could cut the window out. <laughs> um, and I'm sure I will do, but not today. You know, in future projects. Yeah, that's just darkened it up enough. You could colour that in, wouldn't that be nice coloured in like stained glass window? Oh, yes, it would. Yep, so I'm just going to go, do I want that in the middle and that off to the side? I think I'd, 
yeah I think I do I'm not going to ink it because I've cut it nice and close of course it'll make a big difference if you're printing on white paper or if you print some on white and some on, on cream that will help differentiate between the backgrounds too oh no I've lost my flower right to the right yeah all flat i'm thinking i'll have one on the top as well and um, perhaps a, a label and a flower on the top yeah right across there do we want one on the other side as well i'm just going to cut one out and see i may or may not just bear with me i mean there's no way i had time to cut everything out um, you know, before this video because I am doing it quite a little bit not too much but a little bit in advance um, just so I'm, I've safely got it done before uh, heading off so yeah it'd be interesting to see what the other ladies have done of course by now some of you will already know you'll already have seen them by the time you're watching this hopefully I'll have seen them but at the minute, I've no idea what anybody's doing. Oh, yeah, I can't see where I <laughs> where I've connected or not. Just keep cutting, Denise. Oh, 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 oh! Gosh! Now, for those of you that don't have a printer, remember Tanya has got the uh, print and post. Um, option in her shop so you know I had a few comments one saying oh so wish I could print or I had a printer or a way to get them just if you're desperate for some and if you print some on nice quality paper as well so do we want another one up there well I quite liked it higher up but it's got to be rooted really hasn't it Again, I'm just going to... Oh, what have we got going on there? <laughs> All my planning. Was that interesting to sit and read? <laughs> Not very. Could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have had a lot of... Yeah, it's just videos that I'm going to do. <laughs> Could have had all my finances on it. <laughs> that would have given you a shock. Oops. All my secrets. Not that I've got any. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can see this is going to be one of those addictive kind of... Everything out the way. Come on, let me see what I'm playing with. Addictive kind of kits where you can just play and play and play. Oh, that's nice. Look how that one pops out behind there as well. Yeah, I like that. So maybe I just want a, a label on the top here. Um, that's nice. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that because I've got lots to do and you can overdo it. <laughs> yeah, so there are loads of different flippy, uh, flappy pieces you can make. Um, you know with all these lovely bits to decorate so let me know if you make something yeah love that um we want something to go in here see what i've got scrap wise before i start cutting cutting things up nothing big enough have i, I mean at all yeah concrete i'm just thinking i've got a bit of spare there haven't i not? would still leave my door intact would the door fit i think it would perhaps that would be nice folded up in there oh just to uh just to play with and it is double-sided so you know i've got the journal could just use it for journaling would be nice if you were straight <laughs> i've obviously cut that one in a, a bit of a rush Bit of my picture but not much oh no not quite oh no oh, i'm right on the top of the door let's fold
fold it across the door there. I quite like that. <laughs> so the door opens. Will you fit now? No, you won't. Will you? You're going to have to have some off your bottom step. Nice idea though. So maybe you could print it out smaller and fold, fold something up the door. So you're going to fit for me. Because now I've done it, I like the idea. Yeah. So, let's, in fact, let's use the machine and get it proper straight. Oh. Are you buried or are you not in there? Oh. I've tidied up as well, so if it's not in there, I've never done with it. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I've got all my, uh, well not all, but I've started bringing my packing in. So I've got lots of other things in here as well as crafting things. Never mind, we managed, look. Get rid of that. And, uh, yeah, my head's a bit of a shed at the minute, so I don't know if I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> no change there, I know, but just bear with me. Just it's been from the day I bought it. This just one of them, the middle, the middle one, sized corner rounder, just does not work properly. It's so annoying. I was so excited to get it. I, I couldn't entertain sending it back because <laughs> I was just desperate to have it. Yeah, so I'm not necessarily here. Uh, made anything there have I bought I do want to leave the page the beautiful page um, you know cause sometimes if somebody gets the journal and they well they probably haven't got the kit otherwise they wouldn't I assume excuse me he could be I'm ready for a cup of tea um, yeah nice to have a bit of it to play with isn't it so I'll just fold that over like that and I could go under like that maybe yeah that's better just took it in as a oh you didn't think about how far in it would go Denise, did you oh it would go in if the pocket went all the way to this edge but it doesn't I might just there we go we'll just add it behind there okay we need some things here <laughs> after all that what we're looking for it's not the same colour as that it is, isn't it? Um, I don't like that. I don't know where my um, chopper is. Yeah, it's a very slim piece, this. I'm wondering, I used a piece of freeze there. I wonder if another piece of freeze would make a nice tuck in. That one's really nice, isn't it? With the um, ears of corn. So where is the natural cross there? Cut the ears of corn off again there. Yeah, it's only a very slim pocket. In fact, that's the perfect size. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Oh, black. I guess I picked the wrong dobber up <laughs> and I've been using the black ink uh, recently so there's ink on it normally when I pick that up it doesn't work oh right let's put a bit of brown on top <laughs> don't know what it will do changes as good as a rest they say don't they um right what we're gonna put on the back it is supposed to be for journaling so we need to leave some space a little bit of space um, in fact, a flower might... Would a flower be nice on there? Or am I going to hide that too much? No, not a flower on there. We'll maybe put a little one on the back again. All these flowers I've cut out, look, and I'm just, I'm just going to end up with these little tiny, tiny weeny ones that I'm cutting. Where is the, the one that I'd already cut from? Can you see it? No. Okay. Because it was smaller, wasn't it? They were really tiny ones. Oh, there's, look. There's a lovely little one. Yes, 
come and watch my channel and watch me fussy cut. <laughs> I can show you how quick it can be done. They're a messing lot, especially these teeny tiny ones. Soon get one cut out. If you, especially if you're a practised fussy cutter. Lovely. Okay, so that and on those beautiful labels at the top. Ooh, I like the shape of that one. And then we've got some journaling, haven't we? Yeah, brown, yes, make sure you're brown. Right, how long have I been on them? All right, not, not too bad. Um, like I say, the internet is the issue for, for uploading. If it gets halfway to uploaded and then the internet goes down, eesh. A world of pain. <laughs> Start again. But I suppose the thing is, that's why I'm doing it in advance. It's still frustrating. <laughs> yep. So not too fancy, but fancy enough. I have to remember this is just a little... Um, little play thing. Oops, it's only paper. I've only made it out of paper, that. So, yeah, I suppose... I'm just being a bit rough with it. So, I want something under here. Could I, oh, you won't go under there, will you? No, because if it's too big for that side, it's too big for that side, you fool. <laughs> that was rude, wasn't it? Mm, nope, nothing there. Um, I should have got the, the tags out from Nanine's kit, but like I say, I don't... I didn't know what I did want, and... Um, I didn't want to get everything out on my desk. Well, I couldn't. The, the kits are that big. There's no way I would get it all out on my desk. I wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, so this is a piece of scrap we're using up. So what do we want off it about that? Oh, it's upside down. Do you hear my elbow then creaking on the table? Yeah, lovely. So we we'll use some of those lovely some ink on there it might right i've not long since re-inked it so be careful some of those lovely tickets on this one lovely for um journaling on these little bits and, and pieces for a, a, a newish journaler um, i've always made you know i've made junk journals for years now but i haven't actually journaled in them Early spring elegant wraps. Oh, I like these florally ones though. Are you going to? No, you're too big. So I've got some of those cut out somewhere, haven't I? <laughs> somewhere. There. Last, very last packet out of all of those. The very last one. I guess it'll be some of these. There's some circles as well. Look. Oh, so I've got some printed here on. No, I was going to say they're printed on a different colour, but I don't know if my ink was running out or they've come that colour in the kit. Oh, that blue one's nice. Love me some blue. They're all nice. I don't know who I'm... I know what that is. That's... that's a, oh, no, it's not. I was going to say it's a circle from a policy closure, but it's not. Yeah, I'm loving that. Do you know that would make a nice little tuck, wouldn't it? Teeny tiny tuck. And then I could put a ticket. Yes, I could. Tucked up it. Super. Oh, I'm loving the little dinky make. Yes, I've left the lid off too long on the pin out. Still playing though. Okay. What to do with them? <laughs> Here she goes again. There they are. Well, there's some bigger ones there as well. Right. Because I could fold some of these, a couple of these over. So these are, here we go again, vertical. Nope, they're not the horizontal. <laughs> um, I liked that, didn't I? That early spring elegant wrap one. So I just cut the... These out. They don't take too much doing. You can nip them out with your copper dial if you uh, if you've got one and you you don't like cutting circles. 
as often is the case with um, the things that Nanine does, or she often does, not always. If she puts a nice thick border on, you know, tickets and labels, they're so much friendlier for, um, you know, cutting out if you're not very confident. You know, you haven't got a tiny thin line to follow, you've got a nice big broad line, so ink the back. Now, of course, I could have printed these onto a backing sheet and then the back would have had some lovely colourful backing. <laughs> It's got some nice uh, journaling space, hasn't it? I don't want to make it too big because it's going under there. Um, I've put it on the front. What a noodle. <laughs> Never mind, we'll make this the front now. I'm calling myself some names today, aren't I? So, shall we have a flower? Shall we have some of this in the background and then a flower around it? Absolutely. Love this chain. <laughs> Love this chain. One of my new favourite. No, I don't think it's a new favourite because I did have a piece of it from one of Nanine's kits from a long, long time ago. Just just this, I think. Just had a piece of it in one of her kits. And I loved it from the minute I, uh, I saw it. Oops. Yeah, that's dried completely now. Come off. Let's make the front the star of the show. Oh, look at that. Oh, that dandelion clock, I think. Yeah. Can you tell what time is it by how many times it takes you to blow? Oh, I, thought, I thought that just got stuck to me. It was supposed to be there. Yeah, loving that. So, a little oval. What do I think? Yes. <laughs> Did I have to ask? They really are, once you get a, a bunch of these on your desk, just fun. Just real, real fun. Yeah, I must print some out in some different coloured papers. And, well, that one's on white. Is it on white? Yeah, that one's on white. So I did print some. I often, I have very thin white paper for pay, um, coffee dyeing and what have you. I'm practising on. And I often do when I print a kit, first print it on white. You know, so I don't waste my more expensive paper before I see out, you know, which ones I want to print double sided and which ones I want to print smaller. And But of course, I always use them. Right. <laughs> Can you not, not run away this time? You dropped out and you got thrown away. I'm going to have that bit showing. I mean, I could put a little tiny corner pocket on. I could put a little tuck at the bottom as well as the top. Lovely. We could have a flower down there. Do you know what? Some ivy would be nice down there, wouldn't it? Now, I have got, I forgot, can I reach? Uh, bear with me. Right, I have to stand up. Do me good to stand up a minute anyway. Oh. oh. Right, time is moving on. I'm not getting very far, am I? I've got some of this. That might be nice. Let me just. Let me get a manageable piece. <laughs> do I like it in there? I don't think I do. It'd be nice in this kit though, so I'll keep it with it, but not in there. We'll just leave that as is now, I think. Um, yeah, I might end up putting, you know, something like one of these. I don't know what though. On there could be a flower, could be one of these little. That's pretty. I could put a few of those down, couldn't I? Or you could use these instead of the circles to make the belly band, that would be nice. Just too many ideas, too many. Um, so these want something on the outside, pretty. There's not enough flowers going on for me, so let's... Uh, Let's get some flowers in there. And again, they're very tiny, aren't they? So am I going to have to cut my teeny tinies out? Do you know what I'm thinking? Wouldn't a nice big flower be nice behind there? And then when you pull that out, yes, so let's choose 
I mean, they're all gorgeous. Let's choose something I absolutely love. I love this big blue one. Is that an iris? It's an iris, yeah. So many. Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Should have maybe done it before I put that pocket on. So if that's behind there, you know, glued down. And then these can go in. Yeah, I like it. Okay. You're going to see these on so many of my projects. As you know, I love the florals. And um, I don't like to say it, so I'll say it quick. You know, summer won't be with us forever. <laughs> It'll soon be gone. So, yeah, I'll be using a lot of these while, while we're doing summer projects now. I think I'm going to have to fabric tack that so that I can slide it under. Or oh, three in one, I'm on three in one. So, yeah, otherwise I'm going to find myself in all kinds of pain. As if we haven't got enough pain. So I've got my heart set on coming back from this holiday. <laughs> A new person, I don't think. I don't think that's going to be the case. High expectations, but yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a healthy holiday. Not not healthy, but you know, health giving, reviving. It's drying quick, very quick. Come on, in you go for you. Oh, that's beautiful on that background. And that's not the concrete background, that's just on the, uh, the music paper background. Lovely. Love it, Tanya and Nanine. I'm not going to, going, I am going to leave that for writing, definitely. I'm not going to mess in there, I'm going to put something on the front. So let me just put these in to see what we look like. I mean, that one's just going in because I want it to be in there. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And then you take it out and think, oh, I'll do some writing and, ooh, pretty. Right, don't put that in while it dries. So, I was just, I was just thinking just then when I said about putting some of these together. I could probably do that on one of these. Did I put that one somewhere? Because I really liked that one. Was it on the back of there? Nope. Good. <laughs> So I love that one. I've got that somewhere. Um, how many do we want? Maybe just two. Sink them and, and stick them together. I mean, I could make another tuck of it, but you know, <laughs> how many tucks can a tuck take? <laughs> yeah, they are pretty together though. So let's let's put them together. Just with a little bit of something. Just looking, I've got a little bit of chain here as well. Can't leave that unused, can we? Let's get rid of the half link. I'm making a cluster. Tenny made some beautiful clusters with um, tickets and some bits from this kit. Oh no, that way. <laughs> yeah, I really loved them. I mean, I could put it down as a tuck and not put anything particularly in it. <laughs> oh, Denise, you're incorrigible. What's behind there? It's a policy closure. Me not put anything in it. <laughs> but I could put some something and nothing in it. Something very tiny. With one of these lovely tickets. This is why I have to have both kits out on the desk because... I can never remember what's in each kit and then I think oh, there were some tickets somewhere. I know there was, I saw them and it'll be in the kit that I haven't got out. So, yeah, they're all one big kit to me now. And I said it about the other collabs. They are an investment. There's so many pieces in them. Oh, yeah, look, it just looks like another piece of it. But that one, that one comes out. Lovely. OK, so now I do know I've said this before, haven't I? In Nanine's kit, she's got some scrolls. Let me just have a real quick look on 
and see if I can find one with some wording on. And I think I'd like, oh, there, there's the um, labels I was on about. Oh. <laughs> I think originally I was going to keep the kits separate as I worked on them as well. Oh, I'm never going to be able to find them in a hurry. So they were part of her, um, just see there, a page of lots of little bits. Just keep showing you bits. When I come across them, oh, am I, are they? Are they? Are they? No, well, scrolls like that, but they've got words in them. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so you see what I mean now about so much in these kits. Isn't that beautiful? That would make a lovely cover on a book because this background is not my. Um, paper colour that's my paper colour look this brown background is actually part of the digital gorgeous right stop the news yeah these are the, the labels that i love i'll leave it out and cut them out yeah these these are what i was on about smile the smile of nature Quite like a scroll as well. <clears throat> I like a, I like a freeze. I like a scroll. And what was the other thing? Did I call them? I've forgotten now. I was quite impressed that I had the name for them. Sconce. The sconce. Ooh. I haven't got one of those on anywhere, have I? Maybe we'll put one on the back because we haven't decorated the back. Although I really do need to. Oh no. My battery's low as well. Let's hope it's still filming because there's just a big low battery sign across my phone. Right, I do hope it's still filming. Well, if, if it's not, you won't be hearing me hoping that, will you? Right, Denise, love it. Let's get it down. Yeah, that would be good. The smile of nature. Where were the sconces? I had a couple out just sitting around somewhere, didn't I? They're not cut out ones. You sconces. There, these. These are sconces. <laughs> oh, my desk. Look at the fun of my desk. Okay, so I'm not going to put anything in here. Um, I'm just going to leave it as. At the front, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's right. And then those, that goes like that. Close it up and we'll put some sconces on the back quickly. So you know, just a little piece like that. You could go on for hours and hours and hours decorating it, couldn't you? I could. Um, no. Quite like it in the middle. Are they the only two I got out? Surely not. Oh, there's one cut in half. Hmm. I'm sinking down here because I'm thinking, let's sink one up. I'm thinking a big flower might be nice on the back of here. What do you think? Again, I haven't fussy cut that close. It's just kiss cut. That's nicer. Now it's inked, it's much nicer. Yeah, let's have a flower. Oh, a group of flowers. That's nice. That's a lot more greener. Yeah, I like that one. And again, look, that's on white paper. So this, this cream background is part of the digital, you know, which, which they've done so that you can, um, you know, cut around them with a, a margin and it still looks pretty. Just looks like a um, vintage book page, really, behind it. Whoops. I'm just going to put that in that top corner. I could go mad and put a label on and her word and oh, I'm not going to. <laughs> not this time, maybe next time. So yeah, remember to let me know if you want to see me make these. So I own, I was, my idea was to show you them and then get them both decorated. I've done nothing on this one. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, anybody seen me? 
think that's it. It was a smaller piece than that. I'll have to find it when I... Uh, I'll take around with this for now. <laughs> I'll have to find it when I tidy up. It's under here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, slightly different coloured. I want to call it washi. What is it? Sari. Oh, in fact, it was bigger than that, not smaller. Okay, I'll just tie it up with that so you can see. But yeah, that one wants some decoration on it. It's just like a bundle of, of lovely letters or interesting things to go in the journal. Okay, so I better go now and hope that I've, I've been filming all this time. Okay, hope you have a lovely, lovely time playing uh, with a kit or watching others play with it. Um, hope it's given you a bit of inspiration to go off and craft. And I will see you all soon. Bye for now.